<clears throat> Alright, Shadow Wama, praise you. How about Shamia Washa Bashama Kakadash? Double honest to the apostles, Lucy Bros teaching the word in sincerity and in truth. Another quick to the point video, and it says uh, Europe's descending into climate lockdowns. Will America be next? So that's the headline six days ago. And um I'm gonna read this this is gonna just go into some of the stuff that's happening out here in, in Europe. So let's read it. It says the United Kingdom is not only bracing for potential blackouts, but also for eye popping electricity rates, climate, social justice, activists met up in small swarms on July 23rd in London. It says if energy is life and the lack of energy is death, then Europe's dismantling its own energy security is the equivalent of civilization or suicide, right? So anyway, um, you, the, you heard it, it says Britain's pretend, bracing for blackouts and they're saying that's gonna happen. Now it's gonna go into more stuff that's happening. Europe is once again on the brink of lockdowns, though its goal this time around is not to stop the spread of, of the outbreak. This time European Union members and even the UK are imposing energy ration schemes in an attempt to keep people from freezing to death. So let's check it out, let's check some of these schemes. So in Germany, they're no longer heating public pools. Traffic lights are being shut off. Serious things. And they're saying all of that in the, in the name of um, you know, shutting down the system, man. Rationing, you know, basically any so anything you get used, you, you you're gonna if in a chip in a chip system, which is what they want. They're your masters. You're the slaves. And anything that you use, because there's a scarce scarce resources. Anything that you use, um, you gotta be a you, you gotta be a good boy to get it, and they'll grant it you. That's what they're setting up. But it says, and they're turning off City Foundation. Found it, and it oh, should, should be that. And they're turning off City Fountains. Hunger instructed schools to look into wood burning to keep warm. So now they're going to, like that, that sounds medieval. Oh, you're going to use, you're going to use log fires and whatnot to, to, to heat schools up in Hungary. And, um, you know, right now they're demonizing the rain. I was just actually watching a video when I was a Taz with that, but, and he was talking, he was going into it, and he was aiming homes, you know, that dude, if he's, he's Irish, right? I believe he's Irish, if I'm not mistaken, I think he is. He's one of them, he's either, he's either Scottish or he's Irish. But anyway, you know, aim, we know aiming homes and, He's, you know, and pretty much, you know, he kind of, he's got certain types of views and that. But they were going into, he was in, interviewing this woman. And you know, a lot of these, I don't know what kind of role she had. But a lot of them are just, they repeat the information that they're given when they're poor. And so when the people at the top would tell them, yeah, the rain's polluted, they're not going to ask them why. They're just going to, just going to come. And you know what? This is what's happening. There's chemicals. The, the scripture says the earth is defiled under the inhabitants the rough. Man, let me get that in, uh, quickly. Um, I think he is. Uh, so anyway, you know what? You know what? Let me do this because my brain is um, is, is dying to. <clears throat> Now what I'm gonna do? Give me a second. I got a scripture on. Um, yep, he's Northern Irishman, of course. I just I wanted to double check because I said he might be Scottish, but he's not. He's he's one of the he's one of the boys. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, where am I at? You know, come on, he's an Irish lad. So anyway, um, where are we at? Um, here. Now I said I was gonna get this Isaiah. Let me get this Isaiah. Twenty four. Uh, 
and five the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants of rough because they have transgressed the laws changed the ordinance broken the everlasting covenant so the earth is defiled under the rulers that are in power that's why they're talking about all the rain now the rain and you know what there's so much stuff going on because uh uh, there was a heat wave over here. Then the next thing they said is, oh, by the way, people were going, running to the pools because they were burning up because the temperature had skyrocketed to 40 degrees for like, you know, for a couple of weeks. And then some people said, oh, we're going to cool off. And there was a hose pipe ban in certain places. So you couldn't use your hose pipes. Some people said, you know what, we're going to run to the beach. Then they said, oh, by the way, um, the first thing they said, oh, you want to be careful going to the beaches because the water's freezing cold. And people are freezing to death. The, the straight out lies. Now the new one is, uh, it come out today, they were saying, oh, well, um, oh, yeah, by the way, because it started raining now, it's not it anymore. It's all the sewage is, is, is released into the beaches, all the beaches is in the coast, coast thing. That, come on, man. And you, can, you can't tell me this ain't all by design. They, they're saying, now the weather is, a, the weather itself is a, is a biological weapon. You let's just put it's a it's a weapon, and they're using it all in the name of um, climate change. So they're polluting stuff and destroying stuff and then blaming the weather itself. That's not natural. They're doing that. The reason why the rain's polluted, as we all know, is they're the ones defiling it. If there's any sewage out there on the beaches, they've overrun them beaches. All these fires that were happening over, they look like energy weapons, circles. You know, uh, 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 black patches in the in circles that were just burning up. It says Hungary instructed schools to look into wood burning to keep warm. The Netherlands is urging citizens to shower less, <laughs> and Spain is literally regulating people's thermostats. You, you hearing all this, man? So this is what's going on. This is this is the times that we're in, and um. This is happening all over the world. Now, the, this is a good article because he says, Europe's descending into climate lockdowns. Will America be next? Yes, it is. Let's get a scripture on that. Uh, revelations. We've got famine up here. It shows up 82 times. Let's go to the book of Revelations here. 18. Revelation 18, 21, And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more. All oh, who's Babylon the great America? It was a whore that sat in the beast system. America is the is the, is the, is the, is the, is the last kingdom that was going to be destroyed. It's the, uh, America, America came out of Britain. So um, America was that last empire, the American empire. And people compare America to Rome and the fall of Rome and America. So so it's clearly not the Vatican. You can go up and look into all that. We've done videos on it. We can do more videos on it. It only makes sense. It's prophecy, man. America, The American empire is Rome in a reincarnation. Now... Um, It says, we've got more. The UK is not only brace, bracing for potential blackouts, but also for eye-popping electricity rates. Power bills are set to hit $5,000 a year, which one group warned will drive one third of households into fuel poverty. Heavy industries facing restrictions, if not outright shutdowns, as electricity prices fly off the charts. An inflation soar. Some chemical fertilizer and steel plants are already shutting down as this new economic contagion spreads. Uh, it says, of course, the Euro elite who lord over the continent will tell you this is all Russia's fault. To be sure, Russia is throttling gas supplies, but what they won't mention is how Europe became enthralled to Russia 
and its vast natural gas reserves in the first place. The fact is Europe spends decades replacing fossil fuels with intermittent, intermittent, intermittent unreliable renewable energy, largely from wind and solar. For years, Europe's political elites ignored, dismissed and even mocked those who sounded the alarm on their green indulgence. So I'm not going to get all into that. Um, I'm not going to get all into that, but uh, what I am going to do is, uh, well, you got, you got it, you got, you, you know, you got the point. It's going, it's going to all these energy green deals, in America, Biden, all that. I'm not going to read all of that. What I am going to do is leave it there. And um, say yes, America is next. All out chaos, lockdowns, uh, 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 you know, all of that. Mass chaos, all of this, man. And I, uh, let's bring this out. Second Edges 15. Uh, Second Edges 15 5. Behold, the, save the Lord power, or bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. All out chaos. All out chaos. Sword, famine, death, and destruction. Modern day swords of God and all types of any type of weapons that you got out there. Famines, lack of food, which leads to riots. It's death and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So that's your, oh, that's a script. One scripture alone on all out chaos. Cruise is going to be all out chaos. Uh, which is which is completely engineered, man. You can't tell me all this is not engineered. Um, then you got the lockdowns. Uh, let's get to this second, which is 15, 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, and Lord willing, I do a live stream on that because... Um, you've, you've got these non-stop train strikes. Got we're in a train strike right now. You can't get anywhere, man. So if you was trying to get like, I mean, brothers are all scattered over here in the UK in different parts. Some brothers, they go up, brothers kind of go out by themselves. You can't, if brothers ain't got a car. Okay, you might have to get the train. Some, and some brothers are picking up other brothers to hit certain spots. That's what's going on out here right now. So if you ain't got a car, and let's say you live four hours away, five hours, then you you just you, you hook up with someone close to you and you just go out. You know what I mean? So I mean, I pretty much travel quite a lot to get to camps. Sometimes I teach in Scotland. Sometimes I'm teaching in whatever. But I'll I might do a four or five hours. Yeah, five hours to to get to the camp. You know, most of the time I was doing two hours plus because I didn't. I was traveling to London every week, but you know. Um, at the moment, that was when I was living, you know, in England. But, um, you know, usually use certain public transport or, so, or whatever sometimes, or whatever the case is. But um, all of that's, all of that's locking, lock, lock down. So it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, man. They show you that Justin Timberlake in time, you couldn't go through the checkpoint and the chip he had would only let him in through certain Certain checkpoints. That that's how they can restrict you. They show you that in the uh, movie. Um, uh, the show that was about the uh, um, the mad dog outbreak. You know what we're talking about. The out the plan pandemic thing. Songbird or whatever it was called, and then they showed you in that you couldn't just leave the city, man. You had the army there, and they were scanning your ass to see if you if you had the thing in you. Because they're gonna look at you now, man. You you can't get out. Yeah, you. you People are biohazards, and if you ain't chipped, nah, you ain't going nowhere. Matter of fact, you ain't going to be allowed in these New World Order cities if you ain't. That's what, you're going to be getting quarantined, man. Show you that in all these movies as well. Show you that in the children of men, people in concentration camps, quarantined and all of this. Actually, there was a movie called Quarantine, and it shows you the same thing. They show you that in the songbird, people quarantined, people wanted to travel. No, you can't do that. Show the same thing in the, I Am Legend. When he was trying to get on the flight and he couldn't, they were scanning them. If you never had certain things in you, you ain't going nowhere. You, you locked out of the cities. And another show I want to do, there's another show I wanted to do, and we'd have locked off the border between Scotland and England, right? 
And that's going to happen. The same, exactly what's in that movie is what's happening. And it was over an out, deadly outbreak. In the movie, everyone was trying to get to Scotland, though. And I can I could see that happening because, you know, the way Scotland and England have got a different kind of way to run their systems. You know, um, so I could see, like, just like, for example, when everyone was burning up in England, it wasn't as hot up, up in the Scotland, so you can see where they just look, things are a bit, little bit different. You know, but they're shutting off the border, so you ain't going to be able to go anywhere, man. All right. Um, so I'm going to close it there. I might do a, a live Lord with on some of the points that I've brought up. Probably a lot on the lockdowns and the traveling. Uh, bringing that movie out, that clip. And um, yeah, take it from there with that. I'm going to say Shalom.